Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with the support you need to finish your book. Best part is, after you finish your book, they take care of the entire publishing and marketing process 100% for you. So, if you want to become a successful author, make sure to check out AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner, and today I have Petra Boltekova, and she helps global talent move abroad and create a life abroad they love. She has been working with over 50 multinational firms and hundreds of expats from all around the world, preparing them for their move, helping them integrate in a new country and act with confidence in the global workplace. So welcome to the show. Thank you, Tyler. I'm very excited to be here. Of course, and we're excited to have you on. So the first question we ask uh, on this show is, what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Great question. So um, I would like to share a kind of a personal story. So three years ago, I was sent abroad to Austria to build up a branch for Central Eastern Europe. And I was 25. So back then, you know, people in and out of the company thought I was crazy to think I can do it. And uh, so what I did was, of course, I worked my buns off to prove them wrong. And um, and we were, we've been doing really well. So we saw a, a huge increase in the revenue and, and we started to hire people. And, you know, we've been kicking ass. But at some point, I just realized I wasn't really happy. I was burned out. I was lonely. I didn't integrate in Austria at all. And I was kind of asking myself, how come that someone like me who's helping people to prepare for the international assignments and move abroad, how come that I'm struggling? And, you know, I did uh, some inside job and uh, I became a life coach in the process and and I started to talk to other people and I realized I, I, I wasn't the only one. And so it took me quite some time, I would even say half a year to to uh, get to normal again. And it's at that point I, I decided I wanted to help um, experts or people who move abroad to not only survive abroad and to give them the practical tools, but really to help them thrive and to to have a great experience um, in in whatever country they are going to. So, and today I'm really proud of to be a co-founder of a newly founded company that does this, that does exactly that. And you know, the lesson here for me was, and I hope for some folks out there who are still struggling to find their purpose. You know, if you can tap into your pain, so really the bad stuff that happened to you, then you can find your purpose in helping people to overcome or avoid the challenges you once faced. Mm, I love that. That's so true. Um, <laughs> so I'm excited for your answer on this next one too. So um, what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? Yeah, so you know, if you if you are ever about to move abroad, and um, I want you to remember that building a new life, a place else, is like preparing for a marathon. So just you know, think about going for a run for the first time, and it's super hard, right? It's your whole body is hurting, and but once you include some stretches and you include healthy nutrition and and you keep training. And it gets better and better. And that's the same thing with moving abroad. You know, once you invest your time to prepare and you apply the tools that help you settle in and integrate, then, and you, of course, you remain patient and, 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 you know, makes one step at a time, you will have truly a great success, whatever country you are going to. And what is your best piece of overall business advice? So not necessarily industry specific. So something that's been really important to me and made a huge difference in my own life is um, becoming a master at understanding people. So I even teach my clients and something that I've been always super curious about are basically that I would say the three levels of human behavior, at least I called it that way. 
And there's the one, the one is the individual one. It's about your personality and life experiences, just simply the things that make you, make you special and unique. But then there is, of course, the universal one. So the need we have, for, for instance, for love and connection, recognition or security. And then there is the third one, and that's what's super important, especially if you work internationally, and that's something that I've been dealing with for many, many years now, is um, also understanding what kind of an influence culture has has on your behavior and, of course, the behavior of others. So let's say you're someone who grew up in a country that values harmony over honesty, and sometimes you might, like if you're like me, get hurt by people who might be a bit more direct in communication and vice versa. And, you know, once I, I learned these things and, and uh, I really mastered also those skills, then I saw a real improvement in my own relationships. And then if you can give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? Uh, that will be, yeah, that will be probably more, more things to say, but <laughs> uh, definitely one thing that I, I think I, I, I recognize to be like, to be very, very important is, um, just, you know, allow yourself to be vulnerable and just let people see your emotional world and your imperfections. And, and that's, I mean, that's how we connect to others. And, mm. um, you know, at the same time, don't be afraid to say, what you want and what you need with confidence and just have clear standards and get clear on your standards and boundaries and don't let anyone cross them. And in your opinion, what is the key to happiness? Uh, that's uh, a tough one, but um, <laughs> I, for me, at least really for, for me, and that's something that also completely changed my perspective when I was struggling in, in my life and was um, was when I started to see or start life, live a life beyond myself. So I would say contribution is the key. So um, you know, I, I think we always try, or many people try to have or find the secure love or the secure job, and we think that that will make us happy. But truly, if if life taught me something, then it, it's the only thing that is certain in life is is the love or the help you can give. Mm. And what is the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that? Um, so I recently, um, I didn't even read it. I, I, it was an audiobook, so I you know, was listening to it. Um, it. It's Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. And I have to say that book completely changed my perspective on how I talk to my audience and customers in really a way more relatable and compelling way. And I would say it's definitely a must read for every entrepreneur. I love that book as well. I listened to that like four or five months ago. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> um, and then what is your favorite quote and why? Well, so I would say um, progress, not perfection from Mary Forleo. Um, simply because I, I tend to be a, a big perfectionist. And, and of course, you can have great ideas, but if you get stuck trying to or wanting it to be perfect – then you simply do, you either don't do anything at all or you get stuck in the process. So this is something that I really need to remind myself of even daily. Mm, I love it. Thank you so much for coming on. The last one I have for you before we let you go is where can our audience best find you online? First of all, thank you, Taylor. It was really a pleasure to be on your show. And uh, well, you can head on to head over to my YouTube channel. So either youtube.com slash boundaryless or you go to my Instagram page and uh, that's uh, Petra Botekova. Perfect. Thank you again for coming on. Thank you, Tyler. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.